Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope everybody had a really good Christmas or whichever festive holiday you celebrate. I'm filming this pre-Christmas day so I've still got all my presents and everything ready. So hopefully, fingers crossed, my Christmas goes really well. But when you see this it will be, I think it's the 27th, so we'll be past Christmas and past Boxing Day in that horrible weird section between Christmas and New Year's. But what I thought this weekend, I'd make it quite festive and do a Christmas tag just to stay in line with the festive spirit. So I've got 20 questions about Christmas that I just thought I'd answer for you. The first question is, what's your favourite Christmas movie? Now, if you know me personally, you know like I'm not a big movie watcher. I watch kind of the same movies again and again and again. Oops, Harry Potter. Um, but I do, I am slowly branching out into new movies. So I've only seen a couple Christmas movies that I really remember. I've seen Elf which was quite funny, I would watch it again, and Love Actually, which I actually really enjoyed. So I'd probably say my favourite Christmas movie is Love Actually, but I probably will resort to watching Harry Potter on Christmas Day. What colour reminds you of Christmas? For me it's the traditional like green and red combination. What do you wear on Christmas Day? So when I was younger, before I used to work on Christmas Day, I would just wear normal clothes. I think we normally wore like dress every day like t-shirts and jeans we never dressed up as a family and then into my adult life I normally was working on Christmas day so sometimes we wear like Christmas jumpers to work or we can wear our own clothes so again it's just like t-shirt and a jumper but I don't think I've ever properly dressed up for Christmas if you could only buy one person a present who would you buy for in all honesty I'd probably just buy myself a Christmas present because not because I'm like selfish but because I feel like if I bought my mum a present everybody else would be a bit like oh if I bought Paul a present my mum and dad would probably be like oh so it probably would just be easier to buy myself a present and then everybody can feel equally as disappointed when do you open your presents as a child uh, when I lived with my parents we opened presents in the morning on Christmas Day so we'd wake up we wouldn't be allowed to go into the front room until we'd had our breakfast and then we could go into the front room and open presents and then we would like play with our presents whilst my dad made dinner. This year I am working Christmas, well I say I'm working Christmas day, I'm working a night shift on Christmas day. So what I will do is Paul and I are having a Christmas day on Christmas Eve. So we'll do the same, we'll wake up, we'll have breakfast and we'll open our presents and then we're going to see his parents on Christmas day so we'll probably open any more presents then. It's definitely something I feel like I'd enjoy because I really like baking. What do you do on your Christmas break? So as I kind of touched on earlier, I didn't really have a Christmas break because I work over Christmas time. When I was a kid, we used to not really do anything traditional, we would just like chill out over Christmas break and decorate the tree, but I didn't really have one this year, so I can't really answer that one. Do you have any Christmas wishes? I would like snow. I know it's not gonna happen, I've really seen this weather forecast where I live for Christmas day and it's raining, but my Christmas wish, wish? Oh. My Christmas wish would be snow on Christmas day. What is your favorite Christmas smell? Personally, my favorite Christmas smell is probably like a real Christmas tree. We haven't got a real Christmas tree this year. We've got a fake one and it's our first Christmas in this house and we debated real and fake and realized a it is kind of cheaper to get a more expensive fake and then keep it for years than probably a reel of equal price and then it will die and you've got to find something to do with it afterwards and it makes loads of mess so we just got this one from Tesco's it, it was £45 down from 60 I think and it's just got like these really nice like alpine branches on which I thought looked really cute what's your favourite Christmas snack or meal definitely like the Christmas dinner with pigs and blankets I really like the stuffing like my dad used to make like a big tray of stuffing um, um, and I think that's probably all mince pies. I really like mince pie. One of those two, pigs and blankets or mince pies. Which holiday do you celebrate? I celebrate Christmas. What are your 2020 Christmas plans? So to go into them in a bit more detail, we are gonna have a Christmas day on Christmas Eve this year because both Paul and I are working Christmas day. So we're gonna get up, have breakfast, open the presents. Then I'm gonna make a Christmas dinner lunch um, and then probably maybe go for a walk and maybe watch some movies potentially. And then on Christmas day, we're going to his parents in the morning. So we'll pop round. His mum's making us like a takeaway Christmas dinner lunch for work that night and then we'll come back and then sleep ready to go to work and then we'll go to work. What is your favorite holiday drink? So I don't drink alcohol, so I don't, 
have like a Christmas drink, but um, I would probably say like hot chocolate is a good Christmas drink this time of the year. Would you rather candy cane or gingerbread man? Definitely gingerbread. That is one of my favorite flavors all time, like all year round. I'm not really a fan of candy cane. I think they're quite boring. What is your favorite Christmas song? Probably the classic All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey. I quite like Ariana Grande's new one, well, I don't know if it's new, I think it's called Santa Tell Me. Uh, or the Gary Barlow's new one this year is really good. I don't know what that's called though, let me just check. I heard it on the like the news and it was super, like, um, what's the word? I don't know, it's just one of those that you don't know the words but it's got a really good bop to it, if that makes sense. Um, let me just see what it's called. Incredible Christmas, that is the bop of this year that I think might take it as my favourite new one. What is the weirdest gift you've ever received? So if I got it now it wouldn't be weird but quite a few years ago I worked in a hotel and we did a secret Santa and I was quite new and I got in my secret Santa gift chocolate and an orange which was like normal and then I got a set of four like espresso mugs. At this time I didn't drink coffee, I didn't like coffee, I'd never had an espresso in my life so to me it was quite strange because I was like oh okay never gonna use these and I don't think I ever took them out of the packaging and I don't know if they might be in storage at my mum and dad's house potentially or I might have like sold them or given them away which is really annoying because adult Devon absolutely loves coffee and would have really appreciated that gift. Have you ever made a snowman? I have. I used to make snowmen all the time when I was a kid. I feel like it snowed a lot more when I was younger where I live but I used to go to this big lake with my family and I made a snowman there. What is your winter perfume choice? I don't know if this is a normal thing for people to have like different perfumes for different seasons. I know some people wear different perfumes depending on what they're wearing. I'm not like that I kind of use perfume and then just continue to use it until it's done unless I'm going for like a special occasion not that that's happened in 2020 and I might change it just to change up my smell but at the moment I'm using the real Vera Wang's oh Vera Wang princess because I think my parents got it for me last Christmas number 19 is what have you asked for I haven't really particularly asked for anything like specific um I asked all for like anything Harry Potter related technically I asked for a puppy um, but I know that I'm not getting one. <laughs> we're gonna, we are gonna get one. We're gonna get one at some point, but uh, I know that I'm not gonna get one for Christmas, which is a bit sad. But the last question is what is important to you during Christmas? I think just like being happy and sharing it with people you love. I love buying people presents. It's such a weird thing. Like I have such a, like a fulfillment when I buy somebody a present. So I like, I know it's really cliche to be like, oh, it's all about the giving, but I really like giving people presents. But I'm also one of the those people that like as soon as it comes to the door even if I get it like a month before Christmas I want to give it to them already I want to tell them what it is so yeah I just think being together being happy it is also nice to receive presents like I'm not gonna lie but yeah just being a bit festive and having something to celebrate especially at the end of this year so that was my 20 Christmas questions I just got them online so hopefully they're okay I just wanted something festive for this weekend like I said I had you had a really good Christmas and I hope you have a really good new year I've got a really interesting video coming up next weekend so make sure you tune in for that and drop me a like a uh, comment if you want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you next weekend